Hello guys, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 101. Reddit, Amazon, Twitch, Twitter and several other website and app are part of mass outage with their user complaints from India and other countries spiking for each on doubt detector. The issue seems to have been caused by an outage at Fastly, a US-based cloud computing service provider that powers a content delivery network used by Amazon and other website. Fastly has also confirmed that its services are down and has said that it is investigating the issue. Over 1000 Reddit and over 600 Twitch users have complained so far in doubt detector that the website went down from them. Quora, GitHub and Spotify are among the other websites have been affected by the global outage. IQZ3 has been officially launched in India in three variants. The key specifications include a 120Hz display, Android 11 as its OS, 64MP camera and a 55W fast charging support. Let's see about the IQZ3 prices in India. For 6GB RAM and 128GB storage, it comes for 19,990 Indian rupees. For 8GB RAM and 128GB storage, it comes for 20,990 Indian rupees. For 8GB RAM and 256GB storage variant, it comes for 22,990 Indian rupees. The phone will be available in ace black and cyber blue color options and the first sale date is june 8th starting from 1 pm via amazon.in the Poco M3 Pro 5G first sale is on June 14th with the early bird offer. The key specifications include a 90Hz display, Dimensity 700 processor, 48MP triple rear camera and a 5000mAh battery. Poco M3 Pro 5G price in India is set at Rs 13,999 for the base variant that has 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. For 6GB RAM and 128GB storage model is priced at Rs 15,999. The Poco M3 Pro 5G first sale in India is on June 14th at well known and the phone will be available exclusive on Flipkart. The phone will be available at Rs 13,499 and Rs 15,499 on the first sale as an early bird offer. There is a 5% discount on the smartphone if you use Flipkart access credit card for the payment. The phone will be available in cool blue, power black and poco yellow color variants. Poco F3 GT is going to launch soon in India. The Poco F3 GT will be powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor. It will also come with a gaming triggers to help improve the gaming experience. Realme GT 5G Global launch is set for June 15th. The flagship will launch in India as well. The Realme GT 5G specifications include the Snapdragon 888 processor, 65W fast charging and a 120Hz AMOLED display. And it also comes with a VC cooling system and it runs on Android 11 as its OS. Realme has launched the C25S smartphone in India for Rs 9,999. The C25S brings a MediaTek Helio G85 processor up from Helio G70 on the C25. The Realme C25S also has a 48 megapixel camera setup on the back. Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 Lite is confirmed to launch in India on June 23rd. The tablet is listed on Amazon India with the Notify Me page. Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Fan Edition is also expected to launch in the country on the same stage. Sony latest pair of true wireless earbuds, the WF-1000XM4, are here and improve on their predecessor across the board. Part of that is thanks to the more capable Sony V1 chip, but the buds themselves have a better construction which enables better audio quality and improved noise cancellation. These are the first true wireless earbuds in the world to support high resolution audio over the LDAC codec. LDAC carries up to 3 times the amount of data comparing to typical Bluetooth audio. Xiaomi Mi 11 Lite India launch has been officially confirmed. The phone has already been launched globally. Mi 11 Lite 4G specifications include a 6.55 inch AMOLED display, Snapdragon 732G processor, it has a 64 megapixel triple rear camera and a 4250 mAh battery. Xiaomi has rolled out the drums to celebrate the opening of over 1000 Xiaomi stores in the global turf. This is coming despite the challenge posted by COVID-19 on brick and mortar stores and the growing competition in the smartphone market. In September last year, Xiaomi announced the opening of record 3000 MI store in India alone, while in China it has announced in April this year the 500 MI home store has been opened so far in this home country. The opening of 1000 Xiaomi stores in the global market is a milestone that is a reflection of the brand Brand's global expansion strategy. Xiaomi unveiled MIUI 12 in the late April. It has been over an year, however, the company is yet to announce the next major iteration of its mobile operating system. Instead, the Chinese tech giant has been delivering the MIUI 12.5 incremental update for eligible devices worldwide. But now it's look like Xiaomi may finally unveil MIUI 13 in the coming days. Although the latest version of MIUI is currently on MIUI 12.5, the changelog mentioned that the company has added support for MIUI 13 floating windows. This clearly suggests that MIUI 13 is indeed in development. 
OnePlus has shared a 23 second long teaser on its official Twitter handle confirming that the upcoming new OnePlus TV U1s is co-tuned with the Dynamo Audio to deliver an immense audio experience. The video teaser also showed us a glimpse of a new TV which suggests that OnePlus TV U1s will arrive with a minimal blazers to offer an edge to edge viewing experience. Besides that teaser didn't mention anything about the price and other details of the smart TV. OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro are receiving a stable version of Oxygen OS 11.2.7.7 update with camera and system improvements. The update is rolling out in India currently with Europe and North America to follow soon. OnePlus Note 2 will launch in July 2021 as per the new leak. OnePlus Note 2 will come as a successor to OnePlus Note that was launched in July 2020. OnePlus Note 2 could come with a MediaTek Dimensity 1200 processor. Earlier this year when the Indian government was in a battle with Twitter an Indian developer alternative called Koo was launched a microblogging platform which shares several features with the platform it is trying to replace was originally designed specifically for Indians as it offer its services in multiple local languages a new report has announced that Koo is now available in Nigeria this comes shortly after the Nigerian government banned Twitter in the country Flipkart has launched a contactless QR code based facility for all its pay on delivery shipments. The payment method not only ensures greater safety for consumers at a time when they are looking to minimize personal contact but also addresses the trust deficit that many consumers might face. Consumers who earlier opt for cash on delivery can now use a facility, scan the QR code attached to their purchase and make a digital payment for their order through any UPI app at the time of delivery. Apple has started the Worldwide Developer Conference. Apple is starting the keynote by talking about iOS 15 with upgrades to FaceTime. Users will also be able to bring other features from apps such as music into the FaceTime call. With iPadOS 15, Apple is adding feature for multitasking, bringing widgets and app libraries to the iPad as well. Apple has also confirmed on iCloud with subscription service with a focus on privacy. Apple has also confirmed macOS Monterey with brings features such as universal control, improvements to Safari and anymore universal controls will let users control their iPads and Macs with just one keyboard and trackpad Apple Watch OS 8 adds new mindfulness features redesigned photo apps and improvements to the health app Apple has already announced its plan to bring this to the music streaming service at no extra cost for subscribers A new patent from Microsoft has revealed a new Surface device that will feature 400 display camera sensors with the company's logo being displayed when these cameras are not in use thanks to their alignment. This is indicative of the company's aim of improving the camera capabilities of its device. In the same month the brand also filed a patent with the World Intellectual Property Office regarding this logo camera design for the Surface device. The four cameras in question will be positioned similar to the logo design with each camera has its own color filter. These four sensor will be placed under the display of the device and are intended for mobile computing device such as microsoft surface device furthermore the cameras can display a color icon when the sensor are not in use to display the company's logo on the front so the device will display the logo by default and switch to the camera when the shutter is activated The Statue of Unity Area Development and Tourism Government Authority on Sunday said that it will develop the country's first electric vehicle only area in Gujarat Kewadia. In its statement the authority said that the area surrounding 182 meter tall statue of unity in Kewadia in Gujarat's tribal dominated Narmada district will be converted into electric vehicle only area in the phased manner. The announcement comes a day after Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that Kewadia which houses a world's tallest statue of unity will become the country's first electric electric vehicle city Google, Vivo and Xiaomi are actively working on foldable smartphones and each of these three brands will launch a new foldable device by end of this year. Samsung Display has reportedly been contracted by all these three OEMs for the project and the display manufacturer is expected to undertake production in October this year. If this holds true then the above trio of brands will join the likes of Motorola and Samsung with mainstream globally available foldable phones. Google is rolling out a new Pixel feature drop update for its Pixel range of smartphone. For those unaware, the search giant is known for introducing new features for its phone every 3 months via Pixel feature drop releases. The latest update for June brings some interesting additions. The June 2021 Pixel feature drop update is being seeded of the following Google Pixel smartphones: the Pixel 5, Pixel 4a 5G, Pixel 4a, Pixel 4 XL, Pixel 4, Pixel 3a XL, Pixel 3a, Pixel 3 XL and Pixel 3 
3. Although the entire Pixel range is receiving the update, some features are not available on certain devices. That said, let's take a look at this new feature one by one. First is astrophotography videos. As the name suggests, users of Pixel 4 and later devices will be now able to record videos while clicking pictures in astrophotography mode. Users can try waiting longer to click a shot to get more stars in their video. Second update is heads up. This feature is a part of digital well-being app. It will periodically alert users to look up from their handset screen while walking. It was previously only available for selected few users. Third is Locket Folder. This feature was first announced at Google I.O. 2021. It will let users to save their selected photos and videos in Google Photos to a different called Locket Folder. These media files are hidden locally on the user phone and are protected by biometric. They don't show up in any other part of the Google Photo app. And the next interesting feature is Car Crash Detection. Car Crash Detection is a part of Personal Safety app and it is not available on Pixel 3a and 3a XL. It automatically alerts emergency service when a car crash is detected. This feature was previously only available in US, UK and Australia but now it is rolling out to users in Spain, Ireland and Singapore. And the next interesting feature is Call Screen. Call Screen helps users in avoiding spam calls. This feature is now being rolled out in Japan. It was previously only available in US and Canada. And the next interesting feature is Recorder. The Google Recorder app is one of the best recorder application on any platform. The new update brings support for transcription in more English dialects, namely Singaporean, Australian, Irish and British English. And the next update is Pride Wallpapers and Sound. Since June is Pride Month, Google is celebrating by adding new Pride themed wallpapers and sounds. And the next update is Call Actions on Google Assistant. Users of Pixel 4 and above can now ask Google Assistant to accept or reject calls. And the last update is Gboard Smart Replies. Gboard can now smartly suggest phone number, email address and URL in clipboard for replies. All the above mentioned new features will be rolled out to eligible Google Pixel smartphones via respective app updates from the Google Play Store in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.